Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys all doing? So in today's video, we're gonna be getting this giant pleco. Well, it's not giant, it's probably like seven, eight inches. And we're getting it for the big tank because, you know, I have a lot of algae because of the type of lights I have. And it just will be cool to have a cool pleco. And it's not like extremely dark, like the typical pleco kind of light. So let me go show you real quick. That's a normal type of pleco. You see how they're like real dark and stuff. They look pretty cool and all, but they're just dark. And I'm gonna be getting this guy right here, which is like all light and stuff. And as you can tell, the size, like, he's a lot bigger. I'm pretty sure the spots are just his like pattern. I don't think he actually has like a problem. If he does have like a skin problem, I won't get him, but I'll let you guys know like as soon as I know. We got the Pleco. This guy is like huge and he's like really healthy and like pretty looking. The Pleco is inside right now. He's The water was like really different. Like this water is like 80. That water was like maybe 74 or something. So it was like a big difference. So I'm going to let him sit here for maybe like 20 minutes or something just so it can like alchemate good and he won't get stressed or shocked or anything. But he just looks really, really cool. I love him. Look at him. Alright guys, here is a beautiful Pleco. As you can tell, this guy is like huge and has like... A pretty pretty cool pattern so we're gonna release him right now it's been maybe like 25 minutes 20 minutes so yeah let's see how he goes all right guys we're gonna do a water change real quick on this tank and i'm gonna roll like a quick little b-roll of the whole entire water change so yeah Take a look at this guys like i just finished the water change literally like two minutes ago and the fish are already all like super hyper like if i fed them right now they would eat but i'm just gonna wait a little bit for the water to clear up a bit and then feed them and then like show you guys and roll some cool clips and slow motion of them eating and then that'll be the end to the video but i'm just amazed like these fish are so used to me doing water changes that they're already hungry and the fishing looks awesome by the way okay guys it's dinner time for dinner today we have Tilapia, fresh tilapia, and a cucumber. We're actually gonna try to feed this to the pleco and see if it eats, because I heard plecos like suck on the cucumber, so it'll be pretty cool to see that. So yeah, we're just gonna fill this up real quick. We cut all these little pieces. I like to give them like not too big so they don't like choke on it for too long, so they could swallow it fast and eat another piece. And then we have some extra there, so if they eat this all, we cut some more up and then miss their little cucumber. We're gonna try to roll some super sick slow mo footage because these guys are like starving, so hopefully. To get some big air time and we can get it all in footage. The peacock is like one of the quickest fish. Let's watch this how quick he eats. Okay, now I'm just gonna roll a quick um, cinematic footage of like all the other fish eating. Okay, now it's time to show you this little crawfish right here. Well, little, this crawfish will like, this guy is like extremely aggressive. There you go. It's like good also see the bigger pool. Love this snake so much, I can literally pet this guy and look at him. He's so cool. I had him since like since like September, and it's like almost March. This guy's like one of my face, like a pet dog. Time for the tilapia and the little cichlid. It's all these floating pellets. <laughs> Super aggressive. That fish right there. Oops, I had it for like two years and almost three years actually right now. And July is gonna be three years. That's insane. The bass is fat. Peacock is fat. He's super fat. Snakehead is really fat right there. If you could tell, you know, you can't really tell. Um, clown is fat. The um, shovel nose didn't eat. He ate a little piece, and then the smaller peacock didn't eat. Probably just because they're a little bit still stressed out from the water change. But this guy just amazes me. He's like one of my favorite fish. Just look at him. Alrighty, that's probably gonna call it an end for this video. I love these fish so much, and I love like fish keeping, so I always want to do like my best. And whenever things don't go right, I kind of get like upset and stuff. But the pleco did not eat the cucumber, so I'm gonna eat it. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, bye bye. All right, I hope you guys did enjoy this video of me feeding my fish, updating them, and getting that cool pleco. Um, I think I'm calling him Willie because um, me and my girlfriend made an inside joke called Wisconsin pleco, and like. Will Willie will show up for Wisconsin you know? so I think that play goes is Willie tell me if you guys like that name. But I hope again you guys did enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!